Hello and welcome to Yeyu Lab. Thanks for all the excitement and the support for my recent work on the AutoGen Plus panel. Today we're gonna add a document retrieval function, also called RAG, into this project to make it more complete. It's been great to see so much interest from the community. I've been getting a lot of questions about how this tool handles more complex conversations, especially when it comes to using documents right in the middle of a chat. I want to let you know that AutoGen and Panel are both built to handle this implementation, and I can't wait to show you the update to the rack features. Uh, that's the retrieval augment generation for those who might not know. This feature is going to make your multi-agent conversations in AutoGen much more powerful since the LLM could really benefit from the external knowledge to support generating more solid results. So stick around, let's dive. For those of you who may not be familiar with my previous work on the AutoGen Plus panel project, I'll give you a brief description. The AutoGen framework developed by Microsoft is used for building automated conversations between multiple agents. It's designed to handle complex tasks independently. It's being appreciated for its ability to customize agent roles and interactions and integrate them with human responses, tools, and advanced prompting techniques. While working with AutoJ, I noticed that it was somewhat difficult to follow the output on a regular command line interface. That's why I introduced the use of Panel's chat component to create a clearer chatbot style user interface. In my previous tutorials, I've shown how to integrate this panel UI with AutoJ, which improves the readability of conversations between AI agents, especially when they produce output like code and tables and also with human interaction available. For real-world problems, LLM applications always need to resolve issues from external knowledge instead of its knowledge base, which is at a limited scale and outdated. As the development of AutoJ, it supports RAG functionality powered by both OpenAI Assistance API and native document retrieval tools. In this project, I will show you how to create a visualized AutoJ application by panel to implement the RAG function. For an easy demonstration of the code, in this demo, I will use a two-agent conversation scenario instead of a group chat so we can focus on how to use panel to upload the file and insert the file into OpenAI Assistant Retrieval and let the agent respond with the file content. Please note that you don't have to learn from last video for the fundamental coding. This tutorial will cover all the source code and their explanation of AutoJ and panel in an efficient way. Let's first install the packages that are needed for this project. I recommend installing AutoJ from its Git repository as it's still in busy development for new features and bug fixing. Since we are going to implement an agent with document retrieval functionality, let's create an LLM config with related parameters. In this configuration, you could provide your OpenAI Assistant ID from the environment variable Assistant ID, pointing to an assistant you've already created, or let AutoGen create one initially by not providing any ID. Make sure the type of the tools should be retrieval. The program will ask the user to upload a file on the panel UI later, so the file ID is can be left empty at this stage. Now we can initiate the two agents we need. One is the, the user proxy that allowed a human user to input directions after every time the assistant responds. Like what we do in the last tutorial, to enable human input from panel chat input widgets to Autogen's core processing, we have to create a specific agent class, my conversable agent, for this user proxy that can redirect the input from the original command line to the panel input widget. Just remember the input value in the class function a get human input is the test body that inputs from panel. The chat interface dot send function is called to display the prompt message auto j generates to ask the user to input something. The 
panel widget chart interface will be initiated in later steps. Then don't forget to create the GPT-based assistant agent with LLM capability plus OpenAI's retrieval assistant. Um, there is no effort required to call OpenAI Assistant API as the GPT Assistant Agent class wrapped them for you implicitly. Now let's create the visualization. As it's a RAG application, it's better to separate the screen into two sections, one for file uploading, locating the sidebar, and the other for multi-agent chatting. And this UI can be easily implemented by the template fast list template in the panel. To manage the layout with all the widget objects like title text, file input, uh, this uploading indicator, uh, text area, and the chat board component chat interface, we simply initiate it and stack them like building blocks. If you look carefully, there are two callback functions registered in the panel that have not been defined yet. One function, file callback, is registered by the file input to handle the uploaded file, and the other function, callback, is registered by the chat interface, which is responsible for handling the text input. Let's define them one by one. When the user uploads a file by using the file input widgets on the panel UI, several processing steps will be initiated in sequence in the file callback function. The first step is to save the file into a local folder. Next, upload the file into your OpenAI account for the assistant purpose and record its file ID. Once uploaded, reset the agent uh, GPT assistant to link its LLM config to this file ID, making it a real retrieval capable agent. The final step is to display the file information by using OpenAI's file retrieval method. Here I also use the status indicator called uploading to uh, display the status of the whole file upload procedure. Now let's implement the handling of chat messages in by directions. First, let's handle the outgoing messages. The outgoing messages handling is quite similar to our previous demo. It simply rejects a reply function, print message for the two agents to print them out to the panel UI by using chat interface send method, which includes the agent's name, avatar, and content. Just so simple, let's create the handling of incoming messages. The incoming messages are handled by the callback function, which handle the incoming messages from the panel input widget. There are two logic paths for handling input messages. The first one is the beginning message to start a chat session in an asynchronous thread. The second pass is the follow-up messages in this session, which is delivered to Autogen's processing. The asynchronous thread is implemented in the function delayed initiate chat. In this function, we will use the agent function a initiate chat. After the completion of a session by the return of this thread, don't forget to delete the assistant and the file from your OpenAI account. All is ready, let's run the process. We can consolidate the above code and run the server by the panel command. panel serve rag autogen panel dot pi. When you received something like this, that means the panel server is successfully running on the local host with default port 5006. Visit this URL on your browser. Try to upload any of your PDF documents. I download a document from Wikipedia and prompt a query to the chat
Meanwhile, don't forget to respond and make additional instructions to the agents in the conversation. You can also try to create a big chat group with rag capability to prompt the group to answer deep questions about your document. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.